My name is Deanna Allen. I've always enjoyed living in Corby. I've never really wanted to live anywhere else. And we all intended to have a good time on Pool Fair Day, being our special once every 20 years. I feel it's a very important thing for Corby. It is quite unique. When I worked at Corby Library, um, a girl had come from the Berkeley University in California. She was actually doing a thesis on medieval fairs and she came to research Corby Pool Fair. I feel it's a very important thing to carry this on and let the children of today know about the Charter and the fable of, of Good Queen Bess breaking down in the Rockingham Forest and being helped by Corby men, granting them a charter to have a fair. On the day, we went down very early to the White Hart to hear the reading of the charter by the Reverend Ronald Howe. It was read, I believe, at three different points in Corby. There were three chairs hoisted in the air, and the third one contained... Buller Dixon, who was a cousin of my grandfather's, um, and he was deemed to be the oldest man in Corby at the time, so he had that great honour. My sister Audrey got grabbed and placed in a chair, and then she was put in the stocks, much to the amusement of her husband Philip. He refused to pay her fine, and she was she had to do her time, so to speak. And then she, because he wouldn't pay, she was pelted with a bag of flour and she was not very pleased when they were reunited. She didn't think much to the fact that he didn't pay for her. Also, I remember the beautiful costumes that the Pool Fair Queen wore. Yvonne wore red, Alison wore brown, Denise wore green, and Carolyn wore ivory. They certainly looked a picture, but I bet they were very hot. It was a very hot day, and I felt very proud when I seen um, them all on the brewery dray cart. Uh, pulled by the Shire horses as they went round the town. There were large crowds and they were greeted with um, affection and cheering. There was a royal visitor as well that came to the Pool Fair in 1982. That was Princess Alice of Gloucester. And Yvonne, the Pool Fair Queen, presented her with a commemorative plate for coming to grace the occasion. <laughs>